These are the new AirPods Pro 2, and what makes them so pro besides their amazing sound is this case that's actually alive. So let me show you some tips and tricks starting with new gestures. So finally, with these new AirPods, we can control the volume from the stem. And it's super simple. All you need to do is swipe up to increase the volume or swipe down to lower the volume. These are also the only AirPods that can do this. Then you get your other gestures like single press to pause or play music, double press to skip the song, or if you triple press, it'll either restart or skip forward a song. If you long press on the stem, you can actually toggle through the different audio settings like noise cancellation or transparency mode. And what's also really cool is if you head into the AirPods Pro settings, you can actually customize or change some of the gestures for the left or right AirPod, like activating Siri if you click and hold down on the right hand side bud. There's a lot more about these, but first, let me show you what this brand new case can do. Okay, so the new case now comes with a small design change that actually makes a huge difference. You can now finally add and secure a lanyard loop to your AirPods case, which actually makes it so much easier to carry around and also not get lost. But the biggest new change to the AirPods case has got to be the speakers, because the case now makes a sound when you charge it, when the AirPods are flat, if the buds are incompatible, or when you connect to them. But the speakers still do one more very important thing and that is to help find your AirPods if they get lost. So now, not only can you track and find each item, but when you ring the case, the speaker is so much louder and makes a huge difference. Also, in the Find My app, there's a brand new, insanely accurate precision finding feature that tells you exactly how far your cases or your buds are from you. But to help you not lose them, there's this feature you can toggle on that says notify when left behind. Once you toggle this on, every time you walk away and leave your precious buds behind, you get this nifty little notification that pops up and lets you know. By the way, if you ever find the case sounds a little bit too annoying, you can toggle them off in settings. Another really great thing about this case is if you choose to get it engraved on Apple's website, it'll actually also show that engraving on your phone every time it connects. So Apple's gone pretty bananas with this new case, but let me show you some brand new audio settings. So the AirPods Pro 2 have a brand new adaptive transparency mode that is so crazy good and probably the best in the world right now. So once you toggle it on, how it works is it automatically adjusts any loud noises around you like vacuum sounds or construction sites and brings those sounds down so that you can hear everything extremely clearly and at a comfortable level. This mode also reduces loud noises on phone calls so that the other person can hear you clearly. And when it comes to the noise cancellation on these bad boys, they now have two times better noise cancellation than the previous generation. So you can be certain if ever there's a noise around you, you can easily block them out. <laughs> and in case you ever wanted noise cancellation on just one of your AirPods, under accessibility, just toggle this on and you're pretty much good to go. Now that's some noise cancellation. Now, before we get to the new battery features, in case you didn't know, you can add a battery widget that not only displays the case's battery, but also the individual AirPods batteries, which let's not lie is super useful. And of course, you can also now add a battery widget to the brand new lock screen under batteries. You can choose a long widget or short, and it automatically shows your AirPods case battery percentage every time they're connected. The AirPods Pro 2s now also have much stronger batteries on the back. With my nifty magnet paper here, you can see just what a big difference there is with the magnets. And basically, this makes your AirPods connect so much easier to a charging pad. The previous gen, you kind of had to shuffle them around to make sure they were charging, but now the AirPods Pro 2 satisfyingly snap in place and stay charging. On top of that, you can now also charge these AirPods with an Apple Watch charger. You could not do this with any previous generation AirPods. So if you're done charging your Apple Watch or your iPhone, you can just toss your AirPods Pro 2 onto those chargers and give them some extra juice. With the noise cancellation off, I managed to get about six hours of listening time and recharge the buds about three or four times. So basically 30 hours total listening time. 
So Siri has come a long way and she's actually seriously useful. Within settings under announced notifications, if your toggle is on, then toggle on headphones. Every time you get a message, Siri will actually announce it and read it to you through your AirPods. You can also toggle this on for specific apps. Besides reading messages, Siri can also help you find your AirPods just by asking her, find my AirPods Pro. I can't tell if they're nearby. I can try playing a loud sound on your AirPods Pro if you're sure they're not in anyone's ears. Should I do that? Yes. Pinging them now. I mean, come on, that is pretty nifty. On top of that, if ever you lose any one of your buds outside of the case, you can also play a sound through each one. But there is so much more Siri can do on your AirPods, like answer and decline calls, get directions to specific locations, skip, pause or play music, send emails, translate things into different languages, and even tell jokes. Ha <laughs> ha hello. Then here's a crazy sneaky feature you may not have known you could do with the AirPods. You do just need to make sure you have access to it in your control center. So under those settings, make sure you add hearing. You can also reposition it right to the top if you want. But now when you swipe down on control center and tap that little ear icon, you can toggle on live listen. And what this does is picks up all the audio from your iPhone's mic. So now if you actually place your phone down near someone else, you'll be able to hear their entire conversation through your AirPods Pro because it's using your iPhone's microphone. Say what? I must admit that is probably the sneakiest feature Apple has ever made. Another new thing about the AirPods Pro 2 is you get a brand new extra small size ear tip. And it's basically so you can find the best fit and seal for the size of your ear and for the best noise cancellation. It's really easy to interchange them. You just clip them on and off, but then in settings and the ear fit tip test, this is where you can see if you've got the right tip size for your ear size. And once you're done, it'll let you know if you have a bad fit or good fit. You can also customize the audio to your ears by heading under accessibility, then audio accessibility settings, headphone accommodations, and finally in here, click on custom audio setup. Just click on don't use audiogram, then just follow the prompts on the screen. And what this setting does is measures your ears, then automatically adjusts your audio settings specifically to your ears. So, I mean, talk about seriously customizing the audio based on your choices and what you like to hear. This is great because you can make these sound perfect just for your ears, which actually helps with this next feature. Then here's another hidden and amazing feature that so many people don't know. If you click on that little hearing icon and tap background sounds, you can actually choose from all these different background sounds that are on a continuous loop. You don't need to go on YouTube or Spotify for any of these. This is amazing because you can use things like ocean noise for working, rain noise for sleeping, dark noise for studying, and stream noise for things like meditation and yoga. I literally love this feature, but now, let me show you how you can turn your sound 3D. Spatial audio. This is such a cool feature and within the volume settings, here's where you can switch between spatial audio being off, fixed or head tracked. The cool thing about this feature is it feels like surround sound. So no matter which way you turn your head, the sound actually changes based on your direction. But here's the thing, it gets even better because within settings, you can actually personalize your spatial audio using pictures and the shape of your head. So once you start your personalization, you'll actually have to move your head around so it can scan your head. Then believe it or not, take a scan of your right ear as well as your left ear, and then complete a perfect personalized setup based on your ears and your head shape. And it sounds crazy, kind of like being in a cinema. So you just gotta try watching a movie or even a YouTube video with this mode. Super cool. Then onto some slick bonus tips. Did you know you can share audio with a friend? So if you bring in your AirPods and they bring in theirs, 
Your iPhone will automatically detect the AirPods and ask if you want to temporarily share some audio. Then they just got to hold the back button while it connects. And that is it guys, it is that simple. And now you can just sit back, relax and jam to your favorite songs with your friends. Then if you head into the AirPods settings under connect to this iPhone, if you tap on automatically, what will happen if that's toggled on is every time you go to use your iPhone, your AirPods will automatically connect to them without any issue and also easily switch between your other devices. And if you're like me and sometimes only use one AirPod for phone calls, you can choose to fix the microphone placement to one AirPod like the right one, for example. So from the new volume controls to the live case and transparency mode, these AirPods are pro. Make sure you check out my iPhone 14 Pro Max or 25 hidden Apple Watch tips and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!